The Phoenix Force is quite an interesting concept within the Marvel Universe. It has been the host of different people, such as Jean Grey, the most iconic host of the Phoenix Force, to the Phoenix Five, Cyclops, Namor, Colossus, Emma Frost, and Magic, to even Thor, who has the Phoenix Force, Old King Thor. But now, someone very familiar familiar is once again the host of the Phoenix Force. That is Old Man Logan, Phoenix Force Wolverine. We're going to go down and just see how powerful the Phoenix Force made Wolverine. And see how powerful he is compared to other characters within the, Mar within the Marvel Universe. Let's go. So before we go into Old Man Logan with Defense Force, I'll be explaining what Defense Force is and how powerful it makes different hosts over the years of publication. For starters, Defense Force is one of the oldest known cosmic entities that represent life and has not yet been born. As well as the force of creation and destruction, Defense Force is immortal, indestructible, and immutable. A manifestation of pure or primal universal force of life born of the void between states of being the phoenix force is a child of the universe it is the nexus of all psionic energy which does have an ever willing existence in all reality across the multiverse that is the phoenix force so the phoenix force is basically the life of the universe the the guardian of creation basically and those who bear the phoenix force or a host have the power of the phoenix force so the power of the phoenix force give you different amps from different people so say for example Jean Grey able to fight on par with Galactus to Cyclops able to damage God Doom who is a, who is a high hyperversal beam because he has the power of the Beyonders and the Phoenix Force gives you a certain amount of power depending on how close the bond you are with each other. So if your bond is weak, you want to receive that much power. But if your bond is strong, such as Jean Grey or Cyclops, you'll have an exponential power boost because of that bond. Now that we got that out of the way, let's scale Old Man Logan. Now Old Man Logan appeared in issue 5 through 6 of Jason Aaron's run of the God Thunder from 2018. And... Old Man Logan was able to fight Old King Thor and God and um the Supreme Doom basically, and we'll be scaling him off of these characters. Old King Thor can be scaled off of Odin, who has shown universal to multiversal feats, such as nullifying a fire that was going to destroy the World Tree, and the World Tree has been stated to have an infinite amount of universe, but it has ten, but it's said to have a near infinite amount of universe, or just an infinite amount of possible universes within it. And Odin was able to nullify energy that was going to destroy the world tree. Since fire spreads, the fire would soon destroy it over time. In this battle with Seth, they were destroying galaxies, they were affecting every planet of existence, and they were tearing the very fabric of the Marvel Multiverse. And the Marvel Universe has many realms within it, such as Asgard, the, the other realms such as Heaven, Heaven. Um, there's also Hell, Niflheim, um, Sneffelheim, Jornheim. Jo Jotunheim, um, Dormammu's realm, Mephisto's realm, many realms such as nightmares, all within the Marvel Universe. So, affecting this to destroy this is more than just universal, it's clearly multiversal to mid multiversal plus, since the world tree was going, be, was going to be destroyed in the battle with Seth. And Surtur fought against Odin, their class was so great they were shaking the entire world tree. So, Odin in himself will be a low to mid multiversal being, scaling off of that. And even Odin is able to hold his own pretty well against a decently fed Galactus. 
And Galactus in and of itself can be scaled off of Odin, like I said. So Galactus would be low multiversal to mid multiversal in his decent state. But a well fed Galactus can be scaled to 5D or in lame's terms high multiversal. To complex. Going off of the old thing with Cubic. And Cubic and Cosmos have been stated to be infinite 4D. In that a no name celestial can transcend them multiple times. And that a no name celestial is infinitely above them. So since their infinite 4D, which is multiversal plus, that would mean that a gnome saying name celestial would be high multiversal to complex multiversal, so, so such as 5D to 6D. And Galactus fought a no name celestial and defeated him, so he could have possibly defeated several of them, but he did get defeated by the mad celestial when they combined into one. So, going off of that, Galactus would be high multiversal, well fed. And Odin would scale off his off his decent form, which would be him being a low multiversal to mid multiversal. But Galactus proved in the end that he is still above a Skyfighter even in that state, since he did prevail over Gal over um Odin. And it was stated by Old King Thor that he held the Odin force a lot longer than his father did. So this would mean that Old King Thor would be relative, if not superior, to Odin, since he has more experience with the Odin force. This would mean that Old King Thor would be low multiversal to a higher level of multiversal plus, scaling off of Odin and Galactus, a decently fed Galactus. Though, Old King Thor was getting clapped by a weakened version of Galactus, but he was holding his own pretty well, but Galactus still proved to be more stronger than him, so this still would make sense in the case that even a hungry or even a decently fed Galactus is still above a Skyfighter as Odin and Old King Thor. So after years of peace and rebuilding the earth, cause well, Loki did kill everyone on earth. So that had to be fixed. So it came to a point where old King Thor fought against old man Logan and they had a battle between each other. And old man Wolverine was slapping old, old King Thor pretty bad. But you could also say that old King Thor was holding back because he didn't want to fight Wolverine. Cause he was basically saying, yo, chill i just want to talk i need your help rebuilding the earth and old man lung was like you know what no no let let her just stay the way she is and he was pushing back and slapping O king thor O king thor like threw mjolnir through him and he thought i kept him down it was like no wolverine still has his healing fat and is really impressive even to this in this form and old king Old Man Wolverine was going to kill Old King Thor and their battle was interrupted because of Doom who came and he has the power of the Star Brand, the Iron Fist, the Sorcerer Supreme, and the Ghost Rider. So he's basically a one-man Avenger. Now this version of Doom is pretty broken in his own right. He was slapping both Old King Thor and Old Man Logan pretty easily. And he basically said that, oh, you two are the final powers I have yet to snuff out. But prior to this, he was saying, oh, I basically destroyed everyone in this universe. And there's no one left to challenge me. And he basically says that I am the most powerful version of Doom. So with that statement, he's basically implying that he's more powerful than God King Doom that had the power of the Beyonders to make him high hyperversal. But um God uh, Doom basically contradicts himself and basically lying to himself really because he said that he just killed everyone. He there's no one left to challenge him, even though he didn't get to fight Galactus or Ego. So his contra he just contradicted himself saying that he destroyed everyone. Though, if you want to take those that statement, I, I wouldn't do that because I'm not going to lean on to that statement. So, going off of feats and showings, Doom, as he is now, would be low, would be mid-multiversal, so possibly high-multiversal to 6D, since he was able to brush away Old King Thor and Old Man Logan, who could be scaled to multiversal plus. And Old Man Logan can definitely be scaled to high multiversal since he's been able to hold his own a lot longer than Old King Thor. Because Old King Thor was getting clapped around by God Doom. But um, Old Man Logan was holding his own pretty well and lasted a lot longer 
against God Doom even with his powers. He's even able to hurt um, Doom even with the power he had with the Star Brand, the Ghost Rider, uh, the Social Supreme, and the Iron Fist. And the Phoenix Force with um, Wolverine having it was able to hold his own pretty well against um, Doom. So going off of feats and showings, it is safe to say that Old Man Logan will be mid multiversal to high multiversal since he's able to fight against and cut down old King Thor and was able to hold his own against God um, Doom. Well, we're just going to call him God Doom. So um, he's able to hold his own against Doom with the Iron Fist, the Ghost Rider, the Sorcerer Supreme, and the Star Brand. He was able to do pretty well and also holds on against the hacks of Doom. There's also the fact that in the new Avengers run, when Loki brought the Celestials to Earth to try to destroy them, well, he failed, of course. But he made a deal with them so that Logan from the future, because he has the Phoenix Force now in the present, he made a deal with them. They both broke it. And Logan was going to buy time for Loki to escape. And he was going to fight the, the Celestials head on to buy time. So I guess it's implying that this Wolverine can be scaled to the Celestials, which would be like 5 to 6D. Since it's no names, he's able to fight on par with the Celestials. So is what the story is implying. So he's holding them off. So this also backed it up that um, Logan and the future would be high multiverse to possibly 6D. But if you just want to take, you can take that to make the skill Logan with the Phoenix Force a lot higher. But I'm just giving you a mid ball so it's safe. But that's been the video for today. If you like the video, please hit like, share, and subscribe. Also, comment down below. And I'm also starting to branch out a lot more. I'm thinking about scaling Digimon and probably put some Digimon videos out. So be on the lookout for that. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.